All right, welcome back to season two of Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on the channel. It is episode number 15, and we're taking on the Fresno State Bulldogs. We start the season ranked better than last season, right? We we're unranked to start the season last year, and now we're taking on the Fresno State Bulldogs. And I mean, yeah, we're playing Fresno State, and obviously we're trying to win this game. But really what this game means is who will be the starting quarterback of this number 19 ranked Tennessee team? Will it be the senior, the redshirt senior, and Joe Milton, the man who came in last season in relief of Hendon Hooker in some games early in the season and played okay football, played some good football, or will it be the true freshman, the number two recruit in the country last season who committed to Tennessee in the offseason on signing day? Will it be Arch Manning? We are about to find out. So the plan going into this game, Joe Milton is going to play the first half. And by the way, I'm expecting to win this game. If we don't win this game against Fresno State, there is something wrong. We have to win this one. So I'm going to be playing the first half with Joe Milton, the second half with Arch Manning. Here's how this is going to go. There will be a community poll in the community section here on my channel. Make sure to vote on who you want the starting quarterback to be for next week's matchup at Cal Berkeley. Do you want Joe Milton or do you want Arch Manning? Base your vote on after this game and after you watch both quarterbacks performances. It should be a fun one here from Knoxville, Tennessee. We've got the Fresno State Bulldogs taking on the number 19 ranked Tennessee Volunteers looking to win this one before our matchup with those Cal Bears. Here comes Jalen Cropper, the star receiver for Fresno State. He is a senior heading into his last year of eligibility here with the college football season. Of course, third and 13 for Fresno State to start it off. And yeah, Logan Fife is going to be sacked. Big start by Elijah Simmons and the Tennessee defense. It'll be a first and 10 for Milton's offense to start. Tyon Evans on the handoff is going to pick up a gain of seven to make it a second and three here to start us now on a second and three. Milton going to drop back. Look to throw to has left that ball's caught wide open. Jacob Warren all the way to the house. 42 yards for Warren. Given that pass was wide open for Joe Milton, but we will take it. All right, seven to nothing for Tennessee as James Norton will attempt his first kick as a member of the Volunteers. He'll hit it, and by the way, on the hold, it's Arch Manning. There you go. Of course, Manning will see the field in just a matter of moments, but coming back out of the field will be Fife and the Fresno State offense. Jake Hayner no longer the quarterback here. Here on a first and 10. Okay, give Simmons sack number two. It'll now be a second and 14 after Elijah Simmons' is sack or a third and seven. Fife can drop it off to Wilmore, the running back, and he's pushed back five yards. Big play by the Tennessee defense. They've been killing it so far, and they will get us the football back. It'll be a third and three for Milton from the 40. Five, scrambling to his right oh, over the middle. Milton's going to find maybe, hopefully this season, the best receiver in football. Jalen Hyatt, the junior, picks up 18 yards. It'll now be a first and 10 at Fort Tennessee from about the 40. Milton looking over the top. Jalen Hyatt again. Look at the speed. Jalen Hyatt always oh, tripped out the one yard line. It's a pickup of 36 for Hyatt. He's got 96 yards. Does Milton in here in a third and goal. They head off to the big man. Andrew Richardson, he'll likely convert to an offensive lineman after this season, but at least for the start of his college career, he's a fullback. 14 0 for Tennessee. Look at the way Milton's got his guys playing. So Fresno State's offense comes back out here for a first and 10. Their quarterback in Fife gonna scramble for a first down. He'll pick up 10 yards. Does Logan Fife? It will be a first and 10 for the Bulldogs. He's gonna drop back, looking over the top. He's got a man beat. Eric Brooks on a 24 yard catch has got Fresno State now down deep into Tennessee territory. Handoff to Wilmore over the middle. He's got room to work as well. Look at Jordan Wilmore. Picking up 17 yards, and that'll do it for the first quarter as the Tennessee Volunteers up early here at home against the Fresno State Bulldogs, 14-0 for number 19, Tennessee. So here's Fresno State from the 10-yard line. Fife going to be dropping back from out the gun, looking to throw. They're going to go to a screen. Let's see if he can get off. He can't. Another sack for Tennessee. Fresno State's going to lose 10 yards. Oh, my goodness. Elijah Simmons already got three in this game. What a start to the season. Fresno State barely, oh my goodness, off the crossbar. They're going to hit the uh, field goal. It'll be 14 to 3 now as Joe Milton comes back out here on a third and 18. Milton going to take a shot. There is Cedric Tillman. Joe Milton's got this team working right now. It'll be a pickup of 12 right there. Tillman's first catch of the season. It's now first and 10 for Milton. Dropping back after a play action fake. Scrambling to his right. Joe Milton takes a shot downfield. Jalen Hyatt. Oh, he's got it. Hyatt stays on his feet. Touchdown, Tennessee. That's how quick this offense can be. Milton 6-for-6 six six with 166 passing yards and two touchdowns. The concern with Milton was always, can he throw the deep ball? And can he accurately throw the deep ball? 
Well, there you go, man. We're up by 18. Also, by the way, Tyon Evans will be out for the game with a concussion. So that sucks. We're back on defense here. Jordan Wilmore is going to pick up 23 yards right there on the run. Getting Fresno State over midfield for a first and 10. Fife dropping back. Looking to throw the football. He's going to be pressured. He'll go down again. Oh, my goodness. Give Simmons sack number four. Elijah Simmons is killing it. He's already got a school record. Third and 17 out for Fife. Looking to throw. Taking a shot downfield. We're there with Burrell. And, oh, it's going to be caught. The star receiver for Fresno State, Josh Kelly, has now got him down to the 20 yard line. Fife dropping back on a second and 10. He's got room to work. He'll escape out the pocket. And Logan Fife will be down to the one yard line after a gain of 17. Now a second goal for Fresno State. Empty gun look for them. The Bulldogs are scrambled to his right. Another sack allowed by Fresno State. I don't know why he's wearing 21 as Omari Thomas, but. Nonetheless, it's a third and goal for the Fresno State offense. It will be a screen pass to Jordan Wilmore. Let's see if we're there. Yes, we are. All right. Jordan Wilmore is going to go backwards right there on the screen with three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Fresno State's going to kick a field goal. They will hit it. So it is now a 15-point game. 21-6 to six is now the advantage for the Tennessee Volunteers. They get the ball back now here on a third and 10. Joe Milton on the crossing route. has got Jimmy Callaway. Callaway cuts it back up field. It's an 11-yard game for Jimmy Callaway. It was a catch that I did not think he was going to pick up the first down, but he does. First and 10 for Tennessee now from the 40 yard line. Milton over the top. Oh, that ball is picked off. Okay, so Joe Milton got a little bit too excited on that one. If I'm being honest, I probably should have lobbed that ball. I kind of gunned it in there. That's sort of on me, but whatever. Fresno State gets the ball back here to first and 10. Are you just feeding this guy sacks? Oh my goodness. Simmons again. It's his fifth sack of the game. We're in the second quarter. We're trying to break records out here. Second 12 for five. He's going to stumble. Is that another one? Sack number six for Elijah Simmons. In one half, that's got to be a record or something. I, I don't know. Third and 13, Fresno State. We almost had another one. Fife's going to uh, throw that one away. Fresno State may be going to attempt a field goal here. It'll be a long one. They won't. So we'll go now into the second half, up by 15 points, 21 to 6. It is officially time, folks, for Arch Manning in just a few moments. And also, Elijah Simmons. Six sacks in a quarter. Insane. Or two quarters. We go now to Arch Manning's third quarter. And here you go, ladies and gentlemen, first and 10 for the Tennessee Volunteers. Arch Manning's first ever play as a member of Tennessee. Oh, that ball should have been picked. Oh, that's not a good start. That, that, is, that is not good at all. Okay, Fresno State could have an interception there. It's only a 15-point game, too. Two scores still. Arch Manning put in a very big game here. Lock into his left. Perfect ball, though, to Cedric Tillman. So Manning makes up for that first pass. He'll find Cedric Tillman for a pickup of 21 yards. It will now be a third and 15, though, for Tennessee. From the 35-yard line, Manning dropping back. Looking, taking a shot downfield. Jalen Hyatt. That was a little bit short. Because if Manning puts that ball higher in the air and farther, Jalen Hyatt can definitely run under that ball and catch it. You know the speed Hyatt's got. That's got to be on Manning right there. Not great. So Fresno State gets the ball back from their own 30-yard line, second and 13 for them. Fife, I mean, that dude's just not having a good day. I mean, oh my goodness. Omari Thomas' is second sack. I feel bad for the man because we are just eating right now. Fresno State's O-line cannot compare with our D-line, but Josh Kelly right there is going to pick up 27 yards in the air. It brings Fresno State now all the way down to the 40-yard line for Logan Fife here on a second and 10. He's going to be sacked another time. Again, this man just keeps on getting sacked, and Elijah Simmons has officially set an NCAA record. It's his seventh sack. That is nuts. And we still have, I mean, a quarter and a half to play. Elijah Simmons, a true, a star-making performance tonight. So here comes a third and 12 for Fresno State. I mean, Fife's been sacked 10 times in this game, probably more at this point. He's going to look to his right. He'll find Jordan Wilmore. They're going to say he caught it, but he's out of bounds after he catches it. So nonetheless, though, Fresno State, will they attempt the field goal? They will not. They'll punt it back to Arch Manning. Let's see if Manning can get a drive going here. On his second and 10, Arch Manning looking to his left. He'll find Jalen Hyatt. Hyatt staying on his feet, stumbling, and oh my goodness, Jalen Hyatt recovers. He'll pick up 15 yards down to about the 37-yard line, where it'll be a first and 10. We haven't seen much of the run game so far because, of course, it is the Joe Milton versus Arch Manning showcase game. But here's Jabari Small playing right now because of Tyon Evans' injury that keeps him out of the rest of this game. First down, though, for Tennessee at the 45 yard line Manning on a play action fake looking to let one fly Arch Manning back foot he finds Ramel Keaton Keaton's gonna pick up 11 yards it will get us over midfield now into Bulldogs territory for a first and 10 Manning dropping back looking to throw Arch Manning over the middle of the Texas route he's got Jabari Small he takes a big hit but Small picks up the first down and a gain of 12 for the Volunteers 
Making now a first and 10 from the 30 yard line for Tennessee. It'll be a read option. We're keeping with Arch Manning. He cuts it back. Manning stay on his feet. Oh my goodness, Arch Manning fights his way for a pickup of 13 yards, showing the athleticism right there. It'll be a first and 10 for Tennessee now at the 15 yard line. It's a handoff to Jabari Small. Small cuts it up field. Oh, look at the run by Jabari Small. He'll get into the end zone, of course, playing with the Evans injury. That's huge. 28 to six for Jabari Small, showing why he deserves more playing time. Of course, the junior right there. We're now into the third quarter, obviously late in the third quarter. There will be Javon Bigelow on a five yard run on the pitch right there by Fife. It's now third and eight for Fresno State from the 35 yard line. Fife looking over the middle. He has got Edwards for a first down. He'll stay on his feet. And Emery Edwards gonna pick up 12 yards as that will do it for the third quarter. One more quarter left to go. And the Tennessee Volunteers are in control up by 22 year score. 20 Two six. Let's see if Fresno State can get some more points on the board and cut this one to a two possession game. There'll be a second and goal for Fife over the middle. There he goes, Josh Kelly. Nine yard touchdown for the Fresno State Bulldogs. It will be a 16 point game. You would think they're gonna try the two point inversion here and try to cut to 14, which they will. So Fife from out the gun, looking to make it a 14 point game. Hand off Jordan Wilmore, touchdown Bulldogs, or I guess two point inversion. It's 28 to 14. Let's see if Arch Manning can officially put this game away. Here on a second and 12, Arch Manning looking to throw over the middle. There is Jimmy Callaway. So Arch Manning's got a big pickup right there. He's looking good in his first game, really. I mean, first and 10 now for Manning in the offense. Again, it'll be a play action fake. Again, trying to put this game away. Manning over the top, wide open. No one's close to Ramel Keaton. He gets lost in the secondary of Fresno State. And Ramel Keaton on his 67 yard touchdown is gonna score for the Volunteers. Manning with 142 points passing yards. You saw the big shot early that Joe Milton threw to Jalen Hyatt and now Manning's got his own to Keaton as oh my goodness he got another one. Elijah Simmons another sack. Nuts. I mean he keeps on making the record even harder to get. Elijah Simmons with the game of his career it's making it very tough on this Fresno State offense as Jordan Brown right there is going to pick up a gain of 12 for Fresno State. It will now get him down over midfield to the 45 yard line. Fife gonna keep on a read option. You gotta respect uh, Logan Fife in this game, man. I mean, he's been sacked 13 times, I think it is. He'll get him all the way down to the 13 yard line. It's a gain of 30 right there for the Fresno State quarterback. And now a fourth and one for Fresno State. This could be the game right here if Tennessee gets a stop. Fife dropping back, looking to throw, and it'll be a touchdown. Trey Watson gets it in from four yards out. So it's a 14 point game. Logan Fife's 28 for 35 passing, even though he's taken all those sacks in this game. We're gonna try to get some more points on the board to end this one. Manning on a triple option, let's see if he can run it. Arch Manning to his left. Oh, he's gonna pitch it, Ramel Keaton. It will be a receiver uh, option right there to Ramel Keaton. He'll get all the way down. Oh, he's down at the one. 38 yard run for Ramel Keaton. Arch Manning on the pitch. And it'll be a second goal for Manning from the one yard line. Read option, he keeps it. Arch Manning's into the end zone. His first rushing touchdown, Arch Manning. And that should officially do it from Tennessee. It's 42 to 21. Fresno State with 30 seconds left. Trying to put some more points on the board to make the score look better. Fife to his right, Never mind. Oh, Janico Slaughter with the interception. And he's gonna try to take it all the way back to the other side. Oh, Slaughter, oh, he's gonna be tripped up. And he's gonna be dropped down to the 45 yard line. That's okay though. We're gonna win the game and we're gonna win it by 21 points. Tennessee wins this one, 42 to 21. And now the question is, who should be the starting quarterback? Both guys had great games. Both guys had great games with one interception each. They both went eight for 13. I mean, honestly, like identical stat lines. Identical stat lines out the two guys, but Joe Milton just had a couple more yards. I don't know, man. It is up to you guys in the community poll. There will be a poll posted right now. Who do you want to see the new starting quarterback of the Tennessee Volunteers be for 2022? Do you want the redshirt senior and of course, Joe Milton? Or do you want the true freshman in Arch Manning? The decision is yours. We'll get into scouting, folks, in the next episode after we play the Cal Bears. And folks, that'll do it for episode number 15 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA 14. If you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like. Again, if you did enjoy the video, thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.